This is our second video on solving for x for grade 10 mathematics and in every video we'll build up the difficulty. So in this video we'll deal with three easy examples. So let's have our first example which is x minus 3 multiplied with x plus 2 equal to 0. And what we want to do is find the values of x that will make this equation true. Now what I want you to notice is that the two brackets are already equal to zero. So if I can make the first bracket equal to zero and the second bracket is x plus two, then the result of zero multiplying with anything would be zero. So the left hand side would be zero and the right hand side would be equal to zero. Therefore we would have satisfied the equation. What it means to satisfy the equation is to make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. So what value can I substitute in the place of x to make the first bracket equal to 0 in order for us to get a result of 0 times a bracket which would be equal to 0? And the way we can solve that is x minus 3, we want that to become equal to 0. And we move the 3 over to the right hand side, then x would be equal to plus 3. So if I want to test, if I replace x with plus 3 everywhere in this equation, it will be 3 minus 3 in our first bracket, then 3 plus 2 in our second bracket equal to 0. So that becomes 0 multiplied with 5, and therefore the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So that's our result for the first bracket. But we also need to consider our result for the second bracket. So what value of x can I substitute in to make this whole bracket equal to 0? So we'll have x minus 3 multiplied to 0 equal to 0. And the way we do that is we say we want to take the second bracket and make that equal to 0. And if I solve for x now, I'll have x is equal to negative 2. So let me show you why this is true. So if I replace x with negative 2 in our first bracket and x with negative 2 in our second bracket, we'll have negative 5 multiplied with 0 is equal to 0. And now the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So therefore, we have two possible solutions for x. x can be plus 3 or x can be negative 2. Now when you present your answer, you only need to present what is written now. But notice I say or because either 3 or negative 2 will satisfy the equation, meaning make the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Let us look at another example. Here we have x squared minus 4x equal to 0. Now, if we use a little bit of logic, we can see that we can replace x with 0, and that will make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. But there might be another value for x, so what we want to do is first factorize this expression. So I identify x as the common term, so I take out x, and if I take out x, I'll have x minus 4 inside of the bracket. So now, to satisfy this equation, I can see I can take the first x and make that equal to 0. So that becomes 0 times negative 4, and that is equal to 0. So x can be equal to 0. Or I can take the bracket and make the bracket equal to 0. So that becomes x is equal to 4. So again, we have two possible solutions to help us solve this equation. So don't just always use logic. Most of the times you would need to factorize first and then solve for x.